Hello everyone, welcome back. Remember in the previous video, we talked about an e-commerce application that might be using Touch ID or Face ID as the basis of their authentication. And we talked about how we can bypass it. In this particular video, we are exactly going to do that. We are going to bypass the local authentication mechanism methods that might be used by an application in order to authenticate a user. These methods include the Touch ID and the Face ID. Now, this touch ID and face ID mechanisms can be easily bypassed by using objection. So there are two steps to it. First, obviously we require the prerequisites Frida to be installed in our jailbroken iOS device. Secondly, we require objection inside our computer device. Once these prerequisites are covered, you can run or you can explode the package using the command objection dash dash gadget, the package name and explode. Once this is done, you can disable the local authentication mechanism by using iOS UI biometric bypass. So it's the demo time and let's check out how you can bypass this. So in order to bypass this, first you have to open the DBI application and you have to explore that particular package. Now in this particular method, what I've done is I have installed DBIA on my non jailbroken device. So I have created a video inside the tips and tricks section. You can go and watch that particular video. And in that particular video, I've shown you how you can install any application without, without the use of a jailbroken device. So if you want to install a particular application inside a non jailbroken device and you want to use objection and Frida with it, you can do that very easily. So I've created a whole video for that. You can watch it in, later in the tips and tricks section. Currently, I have exactly done that. Why I've done this is because the Palerian application does not allow me or the Palerian jailbreak does, does not allow me to use the local authentication methods. And since I wanted to create a demo which used the local authentication methods, so that's the reason I have deployed the application on my non jailbroken iOS device. So do not worry, all the steps are same, just as one difference wherein I'm simply going to write objection explore instead of objection dash dash gadget, the bundle identifier and then explore. So you can simply write objection explore over here. And once you write objection explore, objection is going to get hooked up inside our application. Now we are going to go inside the touch and face ID bypass. Let's read the challenge. What is the challenge? Functions that do the authentication via touch and face ID can be hooked and manipulated in order to authenticate the attacker. Having an objective C runtime environment definitely aids the attacker as it, is, as it becomes easier to swizzle method. Use a combination of hooking debugging to bypass the touch ID and face ID checks. You can use tools like Needle, Frida, Sci, Scicrypt, etc. or just LLDB. So here our challenge is to bypass the touch ID and the face ID. The application has given us certain methods of bypassing it. The method which we are going to use is using objection. You are free to explore needle, scrypt or other such tools, but we are going to use the tool of Frida and objection. Now, in order to do this, let's start the challenge first. And before we start the challenge, we have to mention over here iOS UI biometric bypass. This is the command using which you can hook the biometric bypass script and it's going to help you to bypass the touch ID and the face ID. So here yeah, I'm just going to write iOS UI biometric bypass and you can see there are two jobs which have been registered. One is disable evaluate policy and the second one is disable evaluate access control. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Swift implementation and as you can see the application is asking for my face ID. I'm going to allow the permission of face ID. I'm going to click on OK and as you can see my face ID was successfully seen inside the application and it authenticated me. In the terminal section, you can see that the OS authentication response was true. Now over here, I showed you a demo that what would happen if actually the face ID was seen and if actually the face ID was checked and authenticated by the application. The face ID would give a response such as true to the application and the application would display a message that success authentication is successful. In other case scenario, uh, this was of Swift implementation. Let's check Objective-C implementation. Again, in Objective-C implementation, 
the method or or the response is the same the os is going to authenticate and it's going to give us a response as true now what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on ok and now this time i'm going to cover my front camera if i cover my front camera the application is not going to validate it's going to it's going to get failed so for example let's click on swift implementation and this time i've covered my front camera so once i click on swift implementation you can see the face id is trying to capture my face right but it, it is failing it's not able to capture it as you can see face shows that it's not recognized i'm going to try the face id again so let me try the face id again and now as you can see again it is it is not recognizing it now after two attempts of recognizing it it has asked me for the password i'm not going to enter the password and i'm simply going to click on cancel as soon as i click on cancel you can see there's a success message that says authentication was successful so in the terminal section you can see os authentication response was false so what did the os os responded to the application as false but due to our object objection script that is ios biometric disable evaluate policy what objection did for us is it marked the response of false to true it modified the response from false to true and this response was then sent to the application so now the application is thinking that yes the face has been captured correctly and i can authenticate this user inside my application and that is the reason you are able to see the success message a similar case is present inside the second one that is the objection c implementation so let me just click on ok and let me click on objection c implementation and this time as well i'm covering my devices front camera my face is not recognized i'm going to click on cancel and you can see the os response was marked as true instead the first prior os response was false and now the os response was marked as true and you can see biometric bypass hook complete using evaluate policy this is how you can bypass the local authentication mechanisms like touch id and face id and you can log in inside the system if you find such a vulnerability you can definitely report this to the application owner so that's it for this particular video. I hope you understood how you can bypass the local authentication mechanisms. Thank you.